guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing an unboxing slash review of this new bag i bought it's been a while i already did an unboxing on my tiktok but i figured i'd do a full review in depth um, about this bag on my youtube channel so i hope you've been well i know it's been a while since i last updated it's been like a really crazy last three months i'm doing a lot of traveling this upcoming two months I just have like a lot of things going on right now but i hope you've been well i'm going to tokyo and seoul again this upcoming week so i hope i can get some vlogs out for you guys and then also some like pack with me videos because i seem to always overpack this time i'm gonna try to not pack as much but I will be bringing this bag with me. So the bag I got was the Celine Boston bag. I have not worn her out yet. I literally got her maybe like two or three days ago. I picked her up from Celine at Neiman Marcus in Sanford Shopping Center. I got her in the Triumph canvas. I really, really did not expect myself to buy this bag just because I was looking for something more of like a shoulder bag. I was also looking for something that's black with leather. So when I saw this, I was really like drawn to the canvas and like how big this bag is for, I don't know, for every day. I felt like I could probably put a lot of things in here for travel. I did a lot of like research on TikTok and YouTube for this bag, but I feel like it's not as popular as the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. And that was also a bag that I was debating between, so I made the ultimate decision to buy this one. The Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy is a little bit smaller than this, so you definitely can't fit as many things in that bag. Proportion-wise, I feel like that one does look a little bit better on me, but I wanted something a bit more practical, especially with the price, because I think both the Celine Boston. This is the only size I think they have that people wear as a handbag or crossbody. They also have like the duffel that's kind of like a key ball for every day. Um, this is the only size. They come in like different leathers like calfskin. This is the just um, canvas leather. So I'm really excited to wear this because I feel like I'm a careless person with my bags, which is why I ended up selling my Dior Lady Dijoy. That bag was so beautiful. I kind of regret selling it because of the uh, price increase shortly after. I think like maybe later in my life I will rebuy that bag in the micro. For now I wanted to get something that I could use for travel and I think this is the most practical out of all the ones I look at. Right now I'm carrying this bag. It's not a designer but it is genuine 100% leather. Out pocket mini hobo from Mars Sherwood. I got this in Korea. This is like my favorite go-to everyday bag. You can adjust it to be crossbody or shoulder bag and it carries like just the necessities that I need. Um, and I like how there's zippers and pockets and the hardware is silver because I really like silver jewelry. Which is really weird why I bought this bag because Celine is very known for like their kind of like antique gold. I probably wouldn't even buy any of their silver stuff just because they're not really known for it. So it's a bit surprising for me because this is not my first Celine purchase. I also bought this Celine Triumph belt. Obviously it's gold so as you can see I'm trying to get into my gold classy era i love silver jewelry this is a really good accessory to wear like a simple outfit to make it look a little bit more classy this is the medium size i believe it's like the bigger one um, and it also comes in like other colors of leather so i got this lane boston this bag retails for 17.50 before tax it comes with the crossbody really like how the zipper goes like all the way around here for quicker access to things. This is the crossbody strap. Like I said, I have not like worn this out yet because I'm waiting to go to Japan. I know this bag is so popular over there. Like most of the reviews I've seen are filmed by Japanese influencers. I think it's going to become more popular like this style. I've seen Lisa wear it a lot and I know like Lisa is no longer, I think she's no longer a Celine ambassador, but I've seen her wear this a lot, which is kind of what influenced me to buy it as well. There's only like two people on this app on YouTube that like have this bag that like really gave me in-depth reviews because they also have the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. I really wanted to do like a comparison side by side, but obviously I don't have that one and I think I would not buy it now having this one. The pros about this bag, let's start with that because there are so many pros. It's a very beautiful bag. I think very classic. Um, it does look a little bit vintage. I've seen people say that it's looks like a grandma bag or like old lady bag. I, I really like this aged leather and it just seems like if it rains or if like it gets wet and stuff, it's not going to be difficult to fix or repair. Um, I like that there's a lot of space right here in between the 
handles of the bag, the top handle. So you can you can kind of carry it like this. I'll show you better pictures. Wear it on your wrist like this. It's not that small, which is why I really liked it. But I didn't want something that was like so big that it becomes really heavy when you wear it. You can wear it with this adjustable strap and you can obviously take it off because it's got the D hook right there. I know the older version of this bag also doesn't have um, the D rings on the side. The same with the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. I've been changing like the way that they create like newer versions of the bags just because people can wear it more and then they have more of an option to like make them more expensive um, because of the versatility. I personally think like that's kind of dumb because it comes with a strap already but whatever I guess. <laughs> They're gonna continue to do price increases every year. But Celine was doing a price increase and I heard about that like three or four days before like it was gonna happen. I ended up just buying it out of like peer pressure in a way but I'm very glad I did. Such a well-crafted bag like I don't know there's something about like the structure that doesn't seem like it's gonna get deformed and if it does it doesn't seem like it's gonna be really difficult for it to like go back. I can also be very carefree with it just because it is canvas. I don't want to be so careful with it just one bag that I have. That's my problem with the Dior Dijoy. It definitely was not a very good everyday bag. However, I might eat my words because I saw this beautiful micro Dijoy. Now it is available in the small size, which is the one I had. It is a silver one. And like Dior never makes silver hardware for women's stuff. So that handbag is like silver crinkled leather with uh, silver hardware and the strap of silver. It's just I'm really into chrome like I feel like if you know me personally I always talk about how like I love chrome everything I, I mean my nails kind of give off like a chrome vibe just like some of the clothes I wear I love silver like I really wanted the adidas sambas uh whales bonner the silver one but those are like obviously really expensive I love chrome so if I do buy that bag in the micro you might see it in the next video. <laughs> There's only like less than five in the US available. I'm not sure. I feel like 3400 for a micro bag is quite expensive and that's like before the tax. I've never seen a silver bag like that so we'll just wait till the next one. Continuing with the pros like Dude, look at all the space inside. There's this styrofoam here to protect it. I'm not gonna take that out right now because I'm not gonna wear this. One small pocket right here if you wanna put like card holder or anything. I forgot that I did a video already so there is something in here. Bag holder that opens up like this and you can attach it to a table and hang your bag like this. And I feel like if you have a really dainty, easily scratchable leather bag, um, you should definitely get one of these. They're like five or 10 bucks on Amazon. It comes in a pack of two. I can show you everything that fits in here because a ton of stuff fits in here. Even my vlog camera, which is what I'm filming on right now. The Sony ZV-1 with my Yulanzi um, tripod that everyone has. It's like a 20 bucks tripod. It fits with it attached. You can check out my TikTok if you wanna see. Let's go with hair clip. Always want to carry our cell phone so I have the iPhone 15 Pro but 15 Pro Max could for sure fit in here as well and I have a case if I case on this this kind of like longer this is a card holder but I would assume if you have a wallet it could be like around the same size that in here my car keys for sure can fit in here lip balm don't worry I have more than one lip balm product airpods I have three more lip products in here as well these are like lip stain um lipsticks and stuff so that can all fit as well oh my gosh literally so much space in here hand sanitizer maybe okay that can also go in you can for sure fit like a small water bottle in here i've seen videos of it glasses glasses case can fit in here for sure there is still like a bunch of room in here like do you want to put snacks in here i usually don't wear glasses so i'll take that out i can put hot cheetos in here for sure Yeah, because I'm bringing this with me on a trip, um, I don't know if it's going to be hot in Japan when I go because it's like still springtime. This is a fan I got in Korea. I used this religiously because it was so freaking hot and humid. This girl, that can fit in there too. I don't want to like stuff it to the brim because realistically this is not how I would pack my bag. I wouldn't even like leave my phone in here honestly because I typically have my phone in my pocket or just in my hand and then my vlog camera I would probably also have it in my hand but you know I don't want to carry it all the time so it's nice that it could fit in here with it attached so I can easily access it. So this is really nice. I also got this tripod um, MagSafe thing. You just like put it on your phone if you have 
a MagSafe compatible case that works as well, but this is the magnet on the back. And you just put it like this and you can fold it out. It's like a tripod. So this was like 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll link this in the bio. Amazing. Yeah, at one point it will get heavy. That's like really up to you if you don't mind carrying like a really heavy bag or you have like a lot of just like stuff you need to bring with you. Because traveling you, you know, you always need to like carry your passport. My passport because I am going to be traveling and I want some tax-free shopping. So there's still like a bunch of room in here. Honestly, if I put it better and organize it a little bit more, I could fit like way more things. And TBH, I would never carry my clock clip in here anyways. But I just wanted to show you miscellaneous stuff because I know the girlies also bring their clock clips. I think this bag is great. So nice, like so spacious. I like the option of having like a lot of room and then the little pocket inside and then just overall it's not as loud as like the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy which I know a lot of people love the monogram like trust me I love the monogram too I plan to buy like a little passport holder from them when I go to Japan but for a bag I'm very like kind of low-key which is why I really like that Mars Sherwood bag as well as then this like the canvas you can't really tell it's Celine until you like really look forward um, and look closely let's talk about the cons something I don't really like about this is that it looks a bit like it looks a tad bit big on me if I wear it as a crossbody. That's one of the reasons I really like the Nano Speedy because I'm more like petite and I've been wearing more like kind of crop, more tight fitted shirts recently. This bag looks a little bit big on me depending on what I wear, but I think overall that's only if I wear it as a crossbody. So if I hold it in my hand, then it's not really a problem. The reason it didn't like rule it out completely just because I think overall every everything else outweighs like that one thing it's like 1750 like i don't know if that's really considered hella expensive or like affordable i think for canvas i think the nano speedy used to be like seven or eight hundred dollars back way when i don't know how much this used to be so to me i think like the price for canvas i most bags are like upwards towards fifteen hundred and plus dollars like probably two thousand or more so to me i just think like the price point i don't know if it's like really expensive or like not that expensive i don't have any experience buying canvas bags i don't really go for canvas either 1750 for me is not that bad compared to like louis vuitton a lot of their canvas bags are like 20 something hundred i just like really like this one obviously i'm so biased because i literally bought it this is what it looks like on me if you wear like this like proportion wise you can tell what i mean when i say like it looks a little bit big on my body like if i have it as a crossbody really this way it looks a bit like big kind of sticking out with this outfit i'm not really sure if it looks that cute so i have it on the shortest available on the loop right here and let me see you can wear it like this i think i would wear it like this if i was not really wearing anything like heavy I don't want to like weigh down one side of my body. This is the crossbody way, which is the more popular way to wear it. This way is a little bit chunky. Do you know what I mean? Like on me with this t-shirt. I think if I was wearing something a bit more baggy, it would look less like awkward. I don't think it looks bad. I just think like for me, it's a little bit chunky, but I still really like it. Like it doesn't make me not, not want it anymore. It's easy to access things here, like the zipper because it goes all the way down right here the zipper is easily to open oh you need my passport for the tax refund here you go oh you need my id okay here you go with my wallet this seems like really easy to get things in and out and i think it would be even more helpful if i bought like a bag organizer so i think I will look for that, but I'm definitely not going to be able to get that in time for my trip. You have it on the side. It can deform a little bit like this. Just push it out. It's fine. I would avoid overstuffing this just so that it doesn't get that weird deformed look. Like you can kind of tell because it's got some heavy things in here. I would definitely try not to overstuff this. I like how this has the longer top handle. So if you want to put a bag charm like me, every other girly, put my little shooky on here so cute i think a chain right here would look really cute as well i saw that on pinterest and tiktok but that's gonna be a different day because i already spent money on this so i'm just gonna use this as is that was the review of the boston celine bag so what do you think of this celine boston bag if you're looking for a good canvas bag like 
this would be a good one. Or if you really love monogram, like go for the Louis Vuitton. I didn't buy this specifically for my Tokyo trip, um, but it's really nice <laughs> that I got this for it. That was the review. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I miss you all. I miss posting. Don't worry, I have so much content. I have a haul of things that I bought these last three months that I can update you with. If you like this video, you can give a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below and you can subscribe. And if not, I'll see you eventually someday, so have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!